Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of the Duo Group Iron Man. Last video, we finally started Barrows and we did our first 100 KC. Let's take a look at the collection log and you can see what we've got so far. We've got eight items in 100 KC. And then Spookdog also got two items herself. She got the Dirox Helm and the Torag's Hammers. So I feel like we're coming along pretty nicely so far. We got some decent drops. In my opinion, the best ones being the Varric Skirt and the Carol's Top. And in this video, we are just going to be doing a bunch of Barrows because there's still quite a few more items I'd like to get. Um, the Carol's Crossbow is probably my top item. That would be nice. Maybe like finishing full Dirox or finishing any set really for the Mauritania Elite Diary. We have to get it done eventually, so... Maybe that could be something that we could go for before we end up leaving Barrows. I've averaged like maybe eight chests per hour, so it's pretty slow, but it's just so motivating every time you get a drop. It's such a nice feeling. Anyways, today is Thanksgiving and uh, oh wow, it's 1 p.m. already. As they say, 10 before 2 or 2 before 10, you know what I'm saying, boys. Okay, but we're actually about to like start cooking food and stuff though, so Barrows will have to wait for a bit. One of the desserts we're making is going to be a cranberry cheesecake and I don't know how this is going to work, but somehow all these ingredients are going to turn into cheesecake. Here, cooking with uh, Velma from Scooby-Doo. One more time, one more time. <laughs> <sighs> We're making some sugar cranberries. I was making some oat milk, and then I came over here and looked at the time. We have two minutes left. Ah, oh, crap. I don't know if that's going to be enough time or not. Frick. We got a fun day of barrows ahead of us today. Let's get gaming. First KC of the video will we be handsomely rewarded? Granted, remember I just got that double chest not too long ago, but let's see. No. Okay. So begins the video of Barrows. No, you're hurting me. No. Why would you do this? I no. can't I can't believe you. Three, two, one, go. <gasps> no. Do you uh, did you get anything? No. I just got a double chest. <laughs> I just got Torag's Helm and Varric's Helm. <laughs> oh my gosh. Teleport to my house. Okay, here, I have an upgrade for you over your Proselyte Helm. <laughs> here, I'll just show you I got, I got that too. That is insane. Another double wow. chest. That's the second one today. Well, it wasn't like in the same video, like, but yeah, the second, wow, it's freaking insane. Enjoy the upgrade. You look ready to go to Ceridomen, actually. <laughs> Not really, but you look ready to do the Inferno with the melee Inferno. Yeah, I love Inferno. I know, you're a freaking beast. God, look at my defense bonuses now. It's like in the 300s. Just get the upgrades, bro. Varric's Helm is really good though. It has that plus three per bonus. I'm gonna smack this rat here and that is 75 defense, which unlocks all of these things, which is a lot of things. Oh yeah, it says in the, the chat thing now. Oh, that's cool. There's two Duroks here. Oh no. My name is Duroc. I got a really big axe. If you talk to me, then I'll hit you with my axe. I was at Walmart a couple days ago to get stuff for Thanksgiving and I was in the alcohol section and there was this like kind of older guy who was next to me and he was like, hey man, you ever tried these seltzers before? I'm like, no, I haven't seen them before. And like, he, he takes me over to, to these seltzers. He's like, yeah, you gotta try these, man. They're my go-to, it's 8%. And after two of these, I'm having a good night. I'm like, all right, dude, I mean, I'm not saying I'm like easily influenced or peer pressured or anything, but I just like trying new stuff. So I went ahead and I'm gonna try it for the boys. Yeah, that is, that is a blood orange seltzer. Don't drink, kids. The tank? The tank? Yes. Spook just got a Dirox Helm last chest. So, I mean, we have two Dirox Helms now, so I guess, I mean, if we both want to like kill them all together, we could do that if we get like two sets of full Dirox, but I'll try to get her back right here with the uh, back to back. No. Okay, last chest before we go to cook some more food. Tara said we're making stuffing for Thanksgiving. This is uh, this is the low calorie stuffing, I guess. Yeah. And it's just like cauliflower and seasoning and cucumber as well. I'm like, how is that even stuffing? It's just vegetables. It's like this other vegetable dish that we're making. And stuffing is just bread. Yeah, but <laughs> it's not stuffing if it's cauliflower. It's just cauliflower. <laughs> it smells good. Thank you. Thanks. I worked hard on it, but I'm all by myself with no help from anyone. Thank you. Uh -huh. Babe, would you like some sex on the beach? Yeah. The biscuits are going in the oven. 
That one's shaped like a poop. I made that one. <laughs> that was a weird way to start the clip. Okay, all the food's done. Oh, I can't turn the camera around while I'm recording. I have to like, okay, let me stop this. We have vegetables, uh, stuffing, AKA cauliflower with cucumber. <laughs> cucumber. We made- Celery. Same, same thing, whatever. We made biscuits, tofu, mashed potatoes. Oh yeah, mac and cheese. Except, yeah, they were like out of every single type of pasta at the store. Bow tie's still good though. Some gravy for it. And then for dessert, the cheesecake was in the freezer. Now it's in the fridge, but it's uh, it's made out of cashews and like I, I tried it. It's it's good. It's like cheesecake. Yeah, cranberries too. Yeah, and the grandparents are coming over. It's going to be a good time. Mm -hmm. All right, everybody grab their plate. Okay. Ain't nobody going hungry at my house. This is really weird sitting at a table to eat because normally we just like grab our food and run upstairs and hide in the room. And then we just like eat, we eat in each of our own rooms. But now we're all sitting at the table. My grandparents mm -hmm. are probably here pretty soon too. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, I've been away from RuneScape for five and a half hours. Oh god, this is awful. Okay, let's get back to doing Barrows. Oh my god, no, <laughs> well, it's the third Dur I mean, it's my first Durax Helm, so at least it's new from the collection log, but Spook's gotten two of them, and now I got one too. Oh my god, the curse of the Durax Helm. Oh yes, that's so good. Aram Skirt. Oh yes. Nice for Zora, and maybe for Raids, except it's kind of heavy, but... Oh, that's so freaking good. No more Mystic Bottoms. Ah, the Zora setup's coming along nicely with the Carol's top and the Aram skirt. Okay, first chest of the day today. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> hey. I've <clears throat> been waiting a long time for this. A rim, that's my name, and I might be emo. Frown upon me, and I'll put on a shop. Torex, oh wait, oh that's the one I have. Wait, I'm wearing that, aren't I? Well, we have a tank body for Spook now. I'm tossing that to the chest for her. When I woke up today, there was a news post on the OSR's website that I wanted to show you. And it's just some proposed changes that they want to do for group Iron Man. Well, some of them will affect non-group Iron Man as well. But these four changes that they want to make pretty much summarize it right here. But this one right here, they want to make it so that you'll be able to enter other people's POHs even if they're not home. So like giving you a spare key to the POH would be very nice for group Iron Man. Apparently we have a frog random here. Don't tell Spook. I did this yesterday, but I didn't even think to put it in the video. But if you talk to this strange old man here at Barrows, there's an option to toggle the tunnel warnings if you talk to him, and it just saves you one dialogue option when you find your tunnel. So this way you only have to go through one chat dialogue instead of the default of two to get into your tunnel. Oh, it's a dupe. I was starting to run low on Karambwans, as you can see, I have like just over 100 left, but Spook said she just put some more in the group storage. 1,000, nice. Let me tell you, it's really great having someone do the skilling for you. I was thinking maybe I should like start using lobsters because I don't necessarily need high healing food, and each time I bank, I usually still have like a bunch of Karambwans left, so maybe I'll try using like lobsters or... I have like swordfish, I have swordfish too. Just to save on the karambons because later game we're always going to need karambons for like the tick eating food. Ooh, Gothen Spear, nice dude, nice. Gothen set would be really nice to get. Man, back in my day when you could six hour AFK Nightmare Zone, the full Gothen set was like 15 mil, which was actually a lot of GP in 2015. Now, I don't know why, but I just remember the spear specifically being like really, really expensive. Yo, with this spear, we can go do Corp. I just thought it was really neat that uh, we're at 161 KC. I know this only shows 160, but about 160 KC with 16 items. So my drop rate here for uniques is one out of 10 at the moment, which is pretty lucky. We need to build the armor stand in the POH, and apparently with the way my rooms are set up, <laughs> this room's really inconvenient to get to. We're gonna build the armor stand here, and you could use this to repair your Barrow's armor. You could just pay Bob and Lumbridge to repair it for you, but it's cheaper if you repair it yourself. Uh, it's based on your smithing level, so we're gonna repair both of these for a nice 69k. Oh, yo, that's actually really good. Even though it's the second one, that's really good because now me and Spook both have one. So that'll be good for like Xami. Nice. Okay, well, that is going straight into the group storage. Oh, yes, Gothen's chain skirt. Here's a little check in for what the collection log looks like for Barrows right now. 
We are three out of four for two of the sets so far. Ooh, Torag's Helm, okay. Uh, that was the second one, right? Yeah, number two, so it's one for Spook. See, on group Iron Man, dupes are cool to get because we can share them. <laughs> some, guy just, okay, some guy was killing Guthin, and Guthin had like one HP left, but the guy ran upstairs. So I'm guessing uh, he probably misclicked. Yeah, he just came back down here, freaking idiot. Here's an attack level, 76. And 1725 total level. Six hour log, oh god, what a loser. Oh yes, that's so good, yes. We have Aram's top and bottom now. It's so freaking nice, dude. Wait a second, I think that means we just finished our first set, right? Wasn't that, uh... yeah, we were three out of four. Okay, cool, so we're set for the Mauritania Elite Diary. And this is actually like really, really lucky to finish your first set. I want to say on average, it's like the low 300s to finish a set on your account. Um, granted, I mean, Spook's doing it too, but I mean, just for my account alone, I finished a full set by myself. We're going to keep on going with Barrows though, because there are some more items that would be nice to get. And this isn't exactly the most ideal first set to complete either. Yeah, I'm having fun. We're going to keep going. Now for the Mauritania Elite Diary, we have to wear a full set of Barrows and open the chest. And that is the task done. Man, childhood me would be so proud of me now for just looking so cool. Holy cow, look at this guy. <laughs> Very interesting uh, setup he has going here. Elite clue. Remember when I paid 500 Ecto tokens to permanently unlock Dragon Tooth Island? It's coming in handy already. Oh my gosh, we're actually gonna get this elite done because we're six steps in and the max is seven steps. And all we have to do is make a Dragonstone ring and we can get this clue done. Oh, this is so exciting. Today I learned you only need 55 crafting to make the Dragonstone ring. I don't know why I thought it was way higher because you know Glory is level 80, so I just assume Dragonstone's really high up there. Oh, here we go, the first elite casket. Oh, we're probably gonna have to like enable the mimic, aren't we? Yeah. Here we go, first elite clue. It's pretty much what I expected. Oh, hey, oh yes, that's so good. That's really good. I feel like I've been saying that so often, but I guess a lot of these drops are really good. Dirox Alex, dude. All we need is the plate body. Another Aram staff. That is number three. This chest is gonna be 200. Barrows Casey. And not only that, but watch the stack of mind runes. Watch the inventory. A white stack of mind runes. Feels good, but it has me wondering what would a green stack of mind runes feel like? No, but seriously though, with the mind runes, eventually they will be useful when we do a rainy rune crafting, because every time you want to bank there, you have to pay 20 runes. So we'll be able to just use these mind runes because they really don't have any other use for us at this point. Another elite clue. Let's collect kingdom, hopefully get Cadentine. Yes, we got Kane time. Can't believe I'm boosting to do this stupid clue stuff. Yes, we actually got the elite casket. Here, do you want to open it? Okay. Spook's next to me. Here we go. Whoa, dragon. All right, well, that's an item we're probably never going to get. That's, that's probably why it's worth like nothing because no one ever used that. Well, yeah, I mean, you never know. Someday, someday. Another elite. Well, by golly, we have another elite casket here. Let's see it. Yeah. Oh, you know what? We don't have any skills necklaces on the account, so that's gonna save us a Dragonstone, I guess. I try to say good luck when there's people around me when I'm at the Barrow's chest, just to, you know, reap in that sweet, sweet, juicy karma, but I swear like half the time I'm just good lucking a bot. Well, doing my daily laps because I'm just eating dinner, gonna be editing, so can't do Barrow's while I'm doing that, and that is 73 agility, which unlocks this uh, shortcut. This one right here, coming back from the Blood Runes. Holy... <laughs> Hey, to be fair, Mage Arena 2 is a pretty tough mini quest. But yeah, we have this agility shortcut unlocked now. I think it was 70 agility. I think it's time to replace these mahogany trees with teak trees because first off, we need to get 70 woodcutting for Song of the Elves and teak trees are a good way to do that. And it'd also be good to bank teak logs for training construction. And also, you just saw we got the farming level there, level 73. Oh yes, we got something. I had a massive dry streak. The last item was at 198, I believe, unless I missed something. Wow, this account was so unlucky for so long. <laughs> not really. I wouldn't really call three times the drop rate being really dry for me, considering how lucky I was before. It's not even a dupe, it's a new item. Oh, cool, that's the full uh, Varric set complete. 
Hey, oh, that was back to back. Cool. Uh, well, not cool because we have as the third one. I mean, if we're doing wildy content, isn't that the plus one item? So like we can lose it extra times now. I had no idea that like those lore shades could even get this far away from over there. Hey, buddy. Hey, what are you doing over here? What? <laughs> Another double chest and we got a freaking Aram's top. That's the second one. So now me and Spook both have one. And then new for me, Torx Hammers, although Spook got Torx Hammers before. It's funny because I was just editing the clips and I was just watching the clip where I got the double chest like from the start of this video. <laughs> That's, that's such a weird timing. Dude, this shit's a simulation for real. Okay, well, my plan was to go for uh, 250 KC this video, so as as nice of a note this would be to end the video on, we'll, we'll do the two more KC just to get the nice clean 250. Here we go, final chest of the video, number 250. <laughs> That's, that's so, so good. And actually, we have to do one more, of course, for the bats back. Really can't ask for better timing. I mean, that's Carol's top and bottom and Aram's top and bottom. So we're like good for Zora. I mean, I would really like Carol's crossbow, but this is still really nice too. Okay, just one more Barrow's chest for real. Last chest of the video. 251 KC. So as you can see, we do have enough cast runes for an Onyx now. Even if I fully charge up the Trident, we should still have enough. Yeah, because it's like 29k that we need. Overall, I think I averaged like 8kc per hour at Barrows, which means I've spent about 30 hours in total at Barrows so far. I'll probably go back in the near future, like here and there, because it's so different from UYM. I could just go do different activities whenever I feel like it. Don't have to spend like an hour gearing up for everything that I do. Let's check the magic XP gained. Uh, it's been 244k magic XP from Barrows. And then one final look at the collection log. We got 27 drops in 251kc, which which means I had an average drop rate per item of about 9.3 when it should be about 14.5. It's not exactly my first choice of places I'd want to get lucky at, but I guess it's still nice. I mean, you can't really pick where you get lucky, right? And then here's Spook's collection log as well. She kind of went back to mainly doing Slayer and focusing on Slayer because I have all the requirements for Monkey Madness too, and the only thing that she's still missing is 69 Slayer. She's currently level 62, so hopefully within a couple days she'll get 69, and then we can go do Monkey Madness too. Because I would really like to get a Suffering before doing Zora. Oh here, I'll just show you the loot tracker as well, so for some reason that one KC doesn't show up, but in 250 Barrows, uh, the value of it is 30 million GP. But with that being said, make sure to check out my duo teammate Spook Dogs videos, which you can find a link to in every video description. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope that you have a great day, and I will see you again next time.